So I can see here that I already have a screenshot. And let's say what I want to do is I want to resize out the canvas so that I have more working area. So in order to do that, you simply go over here on to uh, images and then go to uh, resize canvas. So once you click on this, what happens is that you have resize canvas option over here. So you can go over here and use the relative dimensions over here as well. So you can just go around here. Let's say I want 100 pixels of width and 100 pixels of white. Press OK. And what happens is that it takes it as a center and adds 100 pixels over here just like that, as you can see on all of the sides. You can go over here on to resize uh, canvas as well. You can not use really, uh, relative dimensions. You can just add in total dimensions. Let's say, for example, you want to have 400, not 400, let's say 500 by 500 pixels right here and press OK. You can see that now it's 500 by 500 pixels, uh, not relative right here. So you can just go over here on to uh, resize canvas again and change around the placement when you're um, expanding out as well. Let's say, for example, let's do 1000 uh, pixels width right here. Press OK and it adds on to the right because I selected out the uh, left hand side. That is the image will be on the left hand side and all the additions will be done on the right. Similarly, you can do it anywhere that you want, just like that. So now that is how you can resize out the canvas to increase out your workspace. Another thing that you can do is resize images. So I'm just going to press Ctrl Z right here. And now let's see the resize image option. So in order to resize the image, you can go to image and click on resize image, or you can go over here as well. And there's image resizing options as well. So let's go to resize image and it opens up the same panel right here. So you can change out uh, the units, uh, either in pixels, in inches, centimeter, or percentage according to what you want. So let's just go out to percentage right here. Let's say I want to increase this out by 200% and you can see that it increases out and you can see that it makes these edges quite smooth. So let me just increase this out into 500% right over here and apply right over here. Now, if I were to zoom in, you can see that the edges are quite smooth. That is because the sampling was applied right over here. Let me just press Ctrl Z right here and go back to the original size just like this. Let me just go around over here onto actual size. And then over here, what I'm going to do is uh, disable the resampling and then increase it out. Now, as soon as I disable resampling, you can see inches and centimeter are the only option. So let me just say I want it to be five inches long right over here. And just like that, height is increased. But what happens is that it doesn't change the pixel size. So it does not resample anything out right there, but it changes only the print option right, right over there, just like that. You can also go over here and change the width and height independently as well. So you can go over here and change the width and height independently. For example, you can go over here and type in two inch right over here and it stretches it out onto the side. You can also go over here and then stretch it out from this side right over here, just like this and it stretches out uh, over here without using the aspect ratio. So you can turn on this lock on and off to change out the aspect ratio as well. So over here, the other option that you have is the resolution. So uh, resolution right now is 96 dots per inch. So that is the value uh, which is used for uh, uh, printing out. So uh, if you want really sharp image, then you might want to go up to 300 right here. This is simply a value right here, which is there with the image. So it uh, helps you out in printing. Uh, so that is how you can resize image and canvas inside of Snagit. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.